the tank is a product born from a personal need. My name is Tania Speaks. I'm 19 years old from Baltimore, Maryland, and I'm here seeking $400,000 for 10% equity in my company. No. In elementary school, everyone looks forward to playing outside during recess. Me too. Until on the playground, I was bullied for something I couldn't control and hated, my bushy, thick, unruly eyebrows. The torture of my peers was exhausting until I finally decided to make my haters my motivators and embrace my beautiful brows. I searched for brow products, but nothing worked for me. So what did I do? Decided to make my own. Introducing Tania Speaks Organic Skin Care, a powerful plant-based brow gel that tames thick brows and grows thin brows. It's organic, lightweight, contains no harsh chemicals, and actually works for brow growth and styling. And it's not just our brow gel thriving. We created other products like our foaming cleanser, resurfacing toner, facial moisturizer, and for the guys, the organic beard oil. Our products are carefully formulated with natural ingredients like aloe vera, carrot seed, and oatmeal vanilla honey. I turned my trauma into triumph. I turned my bullies into bucks by blending <laughs> innovation, beauty, and confidence in one organic package. So sharks, who's ready to join me on my mission to inspire everyone to embrace the skin they're in? In front of you are your own products to try for yourself. So now you made the comment that the brow gel tames thick brows, yes. but also helps thin ones grow. Yes. Can you explain to us why? The brow gel has a dual purpose. If you just want to tame your thick brows, like mine, you only apply it once a day, just to style them, lay them in place. But if you want growth, you have to be consistent and apply it twice a day so you sleep in the gel. Let it stimulate the growth what while you What agent helps the hair growth? So what we have is the sap from the aloe vera plant and vitamin E. The aloe vera plant is normally used for cuts, burns. So when I was making my formula, I thought maybe it could heal my eyebrows because I cut my brows. I could not take it anymore. I cried to my mom every day, can I please get my brow service? I wanted these bushy caterpillars off of my face. <laughs> and she would not allow me. She said, you're too young to get your brows done. So I decided to cut them myself with a sharp razor. I had to go to the hospital. I had to get stitches. It was a traumatic experience. Wow. I went to the stores, tried to find something to grow them back, and nothing worked. And so I just started researching natural ingredients, like what works to grow hair, what works, and it was just yeah. very random. And I would actually just bring stuff home, any type of ingredient, and I would just mix it together. And that formula started to work for me. Just the olive vera plant that was in my house, mm, vitamin E that was like. in my house. So I you're like your own much. clinical study. Basically, I like to think of myself as a little chemist. Tony, with all this work and all this effort, how are sales going? Sales are amazing. Okay, so <laughs> last year I did a million dollars in sales. Whoa! Whoa. Whoa. And you were like a million dollars. Let me borrow something. Dollars? A million dollars in sales last year, <laughs> and this year we have done 1.4 million dollars. Yeah! How are you doing that? Today, How are you doing that? All of our sales are fully online. How what? I started was oh sharing my, my story. I went to vending events, I went to trade shows, I even sold in my high school bathroom. I had the line wrapping around the school. Oh, that's and awesome. they would buy it, so they would really amazing. buy it. And so I started my website, I made everything myself and got it going. You've gotta be and making a fortune school? if it's all You're online. Doing... So last year I netted $700,000. Oh my yeah. God! Yeah. <laughs> Not only that, oh, it's more. Wow. Seven hundred thousand. You're nineteen years yes. old. Yes. Oh, what does your mother say? Kevin, get out of the chair. Let what? us sit there. No, you're kidding. You're kidding. What does your mother chair. say? What does your mother say? What did my mom say? Yeah. She said, Buy she me another loves house. it. She's like, I am the proudest mom in the world. Wow. What is the cost to make it, and what price you sell it at? It's amazing. For the brow gel, it costs us a dollar and ten cents to make, and we sell it for twenty nine dollars. Oh. oh. Yeah. Highway Tania. robbery. Shame That's on you. That's like talking dirty. Whoa. <laughs> Tania, how'd you get started? So 
My mom didn't have any money to give me, so she actually made the investment and took out $10,000 from her 401k, wow. and I was able to pay her back immediately. And so I feel very proud about that. In regards to this, how do you protect yourself against, obviously, the I was the trolls, wondering about that. the legal trolls who say there's yeah. claims? How do you do that? Well, that's what in I this was world? wondering to be able to make the claim that it helps thin brows. Have you done any third-party accredited lab testing? We have not done that yet. If, if yeah. not, you need to. Okay. Right, because the reality of this world is when you're climbing up the ladder, everybody just roots for you and holds the ladder for you. When you get to the top, people you've never seen before in your entire life will take pot shots and try to pull the ladder out from underneath you. If you make a claim, right, and you don't have the research, they will sue you. And so, so you've got to be really, really, really careful. It's insane how good you are at what you're doing. If this was my core competency, I'd be all over it to help you, but it's not. So for those reasons, I'm out. Thank you so much. And that's why I'm here, because I'm only 19. So there's only so much information I have, and I really need help. You're only 19, but you're rich. I mean, yeah. it's, it's I, I don't think we've ever had anybody in 13 years of Shark Tank stand on that carpet that have achieved what you have. But I, you know, Tania, I don't think I'm your shark. This is this is not a product category where I can be a spokesperson. I mean, I try and do my deals where I can actually speak out and, and support, you know, what the product is. It's hard to make Mr. Wonderful humble, but I am humbled. Thank you so I'm much. I'm amazed, but I'm out. I really appreciate it, thank you. I don't see with that amount of cash that you've accrued from your business, why you would have any need for any shark You've done well so far, so why would I even advise you? But because I don't feel like I could help you, and I really don't think you need the help, I'm out. Thank you. I am so damn proud of you, I don't even know you. The fact about bullies, people are gonna find ways to bully you. I don't care if it's your age, sex, gender, hair, you know, having hair, not having hair, bushy hair, but you know what? For you to be able to even overlook that, overcome that, and then say, by the way, you know what you were bullying me about? Why'd you buy this? I mean, it, it, is, it is absolutely incredible. Um, you're a rock star. You will be sitting here in a couple of years in one of these chairs. But there's no place here for me to add value, um, and I really wish I could. I'm proud of you. I'm out. Thank you. If you had said that you knew that this works, that you had trials, that we knew the efficacy, I would have given you an offer, but you don't have that proof yet, so it's early for me. I'll be watching, and I'll be a customer, but at this moment, I'm out. Thank you. I really appreciate it. Find a lab and do that testing. Thank you, Tania, but we're all out. Okay, bye. Still wait, wait, Tania, wait, 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 wait. Oh. Honestly, I thought somebody was gonna make you an offer. You know, when I said, okay, this isn't my wheelhouse and everything, but my wheelhouse is helping guide amazing entrepreneurs like yourself and helping them deal with the legal landmines that come along. Maybe I can't help with eyebrow cream and some of the, the other stuff, but I can give you guidance that can help you avoid a lot of the pitfalls. So I'm gonna make you an offer, all right? I'm gonna offer you the $400,000. I want 20%, but there's also two other contingencies. I have a daughter who's 14, and I have a daughter who's 17. Alyssa and Alexis, I want them to meet you, and I want them to learn from you, and maybe you'll even learn some from them. So those are my two contingencies, um, and that's my offer. Thank you. I'm honored to meet your daughters. I really would love that. My counter is 400,000 for 15%. <laughs> Mark, you made your match. All right, I'm a sucker. Yeah. 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 Thank you. Thank you. Oh, my God. Congratulations. Thank you so Thank much. Thank you so much, Tia. Yeah, you're amazing. Thank you. I'm so excited. Me Thank too. you. Me Thank too. you, everyone, for your advice. I really appreciate it. You're the fire. Thank you. <laughs> I'm so excited. I can't believe this just happened to me. Like, <laughs> oh, my God. I couldn't have asked for a better outcome. Like, it was amazing. They even said I would sit there one day and be a shark. Like, that's the highest compliment I've ever had. <sighs> I have never seen you emotional in a What was that about? I want to talk about my kids. Yeah, I saw my daughters and my son, for that matter, you know, in her. 
And, you know, every father has aspirations for their kids. You know, if, if I can get her to connect to my kids, that's more important than the money involved. So that's why I came back in. Next into the tank is what the entrepreneurs believe is a solution to a growing problem in America. My name is Barrett Jocks, and I'm from Nashville, Tennessee. And I'm Prom Carmichael, also from Nashville, Tennessee. The name of our company is Minus Cal. We're seeking $500,000 for 20% of the business. Damn. Now, 45 million Americans go on a diet each year, but the fact that 70% of adults are either obese or overweight means that something's not working. We need more lettuce and fewer french fries. That's easy to say, harder to do, and it's always a lot less fun. That's where Minus Cal comes in, a science-based snack bar and diet tablet that block fat when you eat it. And how does Minus Cal block fat? So imagine your digestive tract is a party, and our ingredient, the co-leave, is the bouncer. <laughs> when the fat shows up at the party without an invitation, <laughs> co-leave oh! escorts the fat out of the party and out of your system keeping you from absorbing those calories from fat. It's that simple. <laughs> and Coleve is not a sketchy chemical. Coleve is a proprietary, all natural blend coming from fermented tea. That's our trade secret. And we're able to put Coleve in a variety of delicious foods. Minus Cal is a great way to lose weight and to achieve better health. So sharks, who's ready to have your cake and eat it too with Minus Cal? Do we get samples? I'm gonna give, give them to you right now. Lori. Thank you. Thank you so much. You're very welcome. Oh. Is this pill like in the Matrix? <laughs> That's right, one red one, one blue, blue red one blue. <laughs> if you take two of those pills before a meal, it will help lowering cholesterol. I've been taking the product for about 12 years. Doesn't taste great. What? But what? Doesn't taste that great. Can the you walk us butter. through the co-leave co again and what is it? You spoke about it very fast. Sure. Sounds co like that's the essence of your business. Yeah, co-leave is, is an all-natural ingredient that's derived from fresh green tea. And what we do is there's a particular molecule, the active ingredient in green tea. We extract that and we increase the potency of that particular molecule by 20 times. So explain to, me, explain to me actually the result. It'll do two things. It will help lower your cholesterol and we have a clinical trial that we did 12 years ago. It lowers cholesterol 17 to 20%. And then our chief science officer, he went back and looked at the uh, test results when he said, the evidence shows that the people who took our product versus the placebo uh, also lost weight. And so we went to the University of Kansas and they came back to us and said, what your product does as it works through the lower intestines, as it leaves the body, it takes about 100 calories worth of fat with Is there it. anybody that should avoid this product, or is it safe for everybody? It's safe for, it's safe for everybody. It's all natural. That doesn't necessarily make it safe for everybody. But at the same time, look guys, you know I'm a skeptic on yes. all this stuff. You can't claim that it's gonna reduce 100 calories out of what you eat by taking two pills. Uh, we don't make that claim. That's what he said. We are gonna make the claim that it's gonna block fat at a percentage dependent on and our, the, and our the individual. Standard. Your t-shirts say minus cow. That's good, that's the brand name of the company. When a consumer looks at it, what do you think he's gonna think? Minus cow. Minus Implying, calories. Right. What is your strategy? What did you Minus cow. The, the strategy is to make you think that this Mark, is gonna reduce your calories. Let me ask my question. <laughs> How long has this product been around? We just launched, so I assume you have very little sales. Is that right? That's correct. Right. All right. Guys, I'm stunned you, you guys are dealing and asking these questions. Do you guys wait, really wait, just invented on, this product on, out on. of nothing and gave it a name? What's, what's here, if I'm my understanding trying to understand is what right, I'm investing you in, Mark. have a bar You're investing that's in high air. fiber weight. You have a bar, it has natural things in it. You're Mark, saying... Mark, it's not Mark. Let me just say this. Look. Mark, Mark, it's not air. Yes, it it's is. Not no, so I you took green. Mark, Mark, let me say this. Okay. I have the data to back it up. So if, if listen, if you want to get right. out, get out. But but you're wrong. No, I'm not wrong. So listen, no, you, you took wrong. you took uh, green tea extract, right? And you invented a product called no, Coley. No, green tea extract. That's what you said. I, I said it's derived from green tea. We take a particular molecule. We increase that concentration by 20 times because that green tea molecule can lower your cholesterol by by 20 percent, right? Yes. Everybody knows that. Everybody knows what. So listen, 
Um, I find Mark's points potentially persuasive, but in my philosophy, the way I like to eat is ingredients. You can see them pronounce real food, and I feel nature over thousands of years has nurtured us in such ways that we can just eat the real stuff. Best of luck to you, but I'm out. Here's where I'm at. $500,000 for 20% of a startup that has no revenue is way too high. You asked for too much, you made a, a strategic error. I'm out. I don't know about Coleve, and I know that it's dangerous to claim that certain products will do miraculous things like not have fat stay in your body okay, no. or whatever. So I don't like to associate with those things. I have no problem with you, but I'm out. Look, I, I'm so frustrated. I have no idea. I really don't know what your business is. I don't know what your strategy is. I really don't know anything. Mark, sometimes your level of arrogance really pisses yeah, me off. I'll... And I, Mark, and I, let me, and I only say that you don't give people a chance. I wish I knew what their business was if you would let people talk. You, you know, know what their product is, Robert? Your level of arrogance sometimes just surrounds the room and your I'll great be respectful guy, to you, Robert. I won't say what I'm thinking. It intimidates people. It intimidates people. And I'm just telling you, I have, you might be 100% right. I just wish I had the opportunity to hear it. I know how hard people work to get on that You know floor. what's even harder, Robert? And you don't give them a chance. You know what's even harder? I'm out. Let me, let me just say one thing, please. We, neither one of us claimed that if you take this product, you'll lose weight. Look at your shirt. I said neither one of us said we would lose weight. Look at your shirt. What What does your shirt say? It says fewer calories, Mark. Right, how do you if lose you weight? Wait, wait, may I please finish? We're not claiming that you're going to lose weight. We're saying that we are going to take some fat out of your body. Now, I don't care what you say. I know what my science says, and you're wrong. You're just plain wrong. That, that particular molecule, that extract, also will help you on your weight. It won't make what you lose. What did you lose. just say? It won't let's, make let's, you lose let's, weight. Let's, it will help you. It will help you lose weight, but it won't make you lose weight. Actually, Carl, now now you're pissing me off. Yeah, <laughs> yeah you're digging a deeper hole. And it's got nothing to do with You're kind of losing you credibility. Just, you just said you're not. You said you're not losing weight. What does it say right Look, here? I, yes? I, I will stand behind the fact that the goal is to did help. Did you? No, but yeah, is to help people lose weight. I no. I, I okay, am, guys. I, I think to say we're done here. here. To everybody who's watching, don't buy it. I'm out. Okay. Thank you, gentlemen. Thank you. Go in peace. Thank, thank you. Mark's never going to invest in a supplement. Millions of people take supplements. It's like saying to a personal trainer who says, I can help you lose weight, and then you hire him, and you don't lose any weight, that it was a scam. Yeah, that's not exactly fair or logical. Daniel, welcome to our very dysfunctional family. <laughs> very Mark, dysfunctional you family. Beat you know, crap out of they these They deserve guys. it. But it's fair passion. They deserve it's not it. fair. That's my point. Take the green tea and chill. <laughs> Let's right. all hold hands. Let's all hold hands. <laughs> I don't want to hold hands. It's all about love. Yes. Come on. Big hug. Yeah, Big hug. Big hug. Big hug. Big hug. <laughs> Next up is a business hoping to inspire budding, tech-savvy entrepreneurs. Hi, Sharks. My name is Samantha John. I'm here from Brooklyn, New York, seeking $400,000 for 4% equity in my company, Hopscotch. Back in the day when you were little sharks, did you ever run a lemonade stand or mow your neighbor's lawn? Kids love running businesses because it's a way to make their own money and participate in the real world. But in today's digital economy, lemonade stands are a thing of the past. That's why I created Hopscotch. It's the best way for young entrepreneurs to build and run their first business on the internet, all from their mobile device. They use the kid-friendly programming language I invented to make incredible games that rival anything you see in the store. And that's not all sharks. By selling those games to the hundreds of thousands of children in our community, they can turn their creations into real currency. And the best part, they're learning real coding skills that will be valuable tools in their future college classes and even careers. Through our fun educational app, parents will be blown away with what their kids can make. They'll learn concepts from game design to graphics, animation, and so much more. 
So Sharks, you've all talked to kids about how they are the entrepreneurs of the future. Here's your chance to put your money where your mouth is. Which one of you wants to hopscotch with me into the digital age? Your last name is John? My last name is John. I feel such an affinity with you. And you were from Brooklyn? Yeah. We, we, might, we might be family. <gasps> might have to call my mommy. <laughs> <laughs> so in front of you, you have an iPad. And I've chosen two of my favorite hopscotch games in a demo version of hopscotch for you to try. You didn't pick the ones I did? That I posted on to hopscotch with my daughters? Oh. So the first game I want you to try is called Kaleidocosmos. And it's a drawing game where uh, everything you draw will be repeated eight times. So you make this really cool kaleidoscope drawing. And this game was made five years ago in Hopscotch. It's since received over 2.2 million plays. Heck, it's a lot of fun to do, isn't it? Yeah, can I see your drawing? Well, I'm not sure I'm so proud of it, but there it is. <laughs> oh, I love it. Oh, I like that, that's like a logo. Ooh, Kevin, I like that. Lori, yes, that's really, really Yes, I call pretty. it man's inhumanity against man. <laughs> <laughs> Damon, what you got? That is really cool. It kind of looks 3D. Oh, Damon. Yeah. The second game is a platformer game, and that was created more recently in Hopscotch. This game was made by a kid who has been on Hopscotch for over four years. I got up to the yeah. first level. Oh, oh, sure. Gotcha. <laughs> Oh my God. Well, I'm not oh, winning this game. This is, this is child's play, <laughs> literally. <laughs> oh. I'm so ill with mine. I actually want to show you guys a demo of how the coding in Hopscotch works so you can just get a sense of it. So this is the coding editor and you're coding with these cool characters. I'm just going to show you, walk you through making this game where the crocodile is going to go after the octopus and then it's going to eat it. Um, and then you can just, just a little bit more code, you can start to see how this turns into a game. So now the crocodile has all these other people and it's getting bigger as it eats more. It's pretty cute. Thank you. Samantha, awesome. tell us about you. How did you come up with this? You know, when I was a kid, I never thought that coding was for me. I was like, computers, those are for boys. And it wasn't until my senior year of college I took my first computer science class and it was, it was so empowering, it was so creative. And I was like, why didn't I know that programming was so fun and creative and interesting and I could make things that people actually care about? So Hopscotch actually launched in 2012. And at that time it was all free. And our first week we got 20,000 downloads. So we got a lot of press. You guys we were on top of the world. You were dominating for kids' programming languages at the time. Totally. In and there was no revenue at that time. You just No downloads. revenue. No revenue model. We Continue were first-time entrepreneurs. We were like, grow, grow, grow. Honestly, guys, like when it comes to kids in school, there's some other alternatives. Yeah. But Hopscotch is the go-to name. They crush it, right? And, and by the way, when I said I used it and, put, yeah. and posted an app, I meant it, right? I, yeah. I used Scratch. And then when my kids first got into it at school, we used Hopscotch That's and developed awesome. games. It's intriguing. How yeah. do I make money? So we have a currency that you can buy in Hopscotch from the App Store, and then you can, you'll can you be able to use that currency inside another kid's game. So that'll be the revenue? You'll keep the two-thirds of the revenue from the app you'll sell? Yes, and then eventually we want to let kids share in the revenue as well. So we would do eventually let kids cash out that they earn in their game. What, what's the active user base? Our active user base now is about 200,000 active users a month. What was your peak? Our peak was in 2015, I believe, and we were at about 400,000. So what happened is we raised our first round of venture capital in 2013 after we launched the app, and then we raised our second round in 2015. And then we saw the trajectory we were on, where it was all about growth and we were gonna have to continue raising capital, and we didn't wanna run the risk of just going out of business if we couldn't raise money. So we started switching to a subscription model. So we are profitable now. How many we, subscribers do you have? Uh, we have about 6,200 subscribers right now. What's the cost per month? Uh, the Hopscotch costs $8 per month or $80 per year. How profitable are you now? So we're basically not really burning cash, not really making cash, but that's kind of a decision to have a team so that breaking matches even. with you're our revenue. Even. And that's kind of why I'm coming to you, Sharks. Right. We have the subscription business and it keeps us in business, but it's not really the right business model for Hopscotch. We want a little bit more capital so that we can start 
getting rid of that paywall, letting everyone in for free, and playing a long game where they can start buying into and, our and currency. And you hope that gets traction, because by taking down the subscription paywall, you give up that revenue stream in perpetuity. I'm not really crazy about your business model of giving up what you've worked very hard to achieve. A subscription, you know, 6,000 people paying you every month is a good business. It looks like you want to scale, but I just don't think it's figured out yet. And uh, uh, it's, it's a little dangerous for me, so I'm out. I really love what you're doing. Thank you. I personally don't know how I would help you to blow this up as a business. So I'm going to say I'm out. Uh, Samantha, I'm, I'm not going to take a journey with you. I've, I've been in your sector and spent many, many years of my career in it. And I swore that when I left and I exited that that was it for me, that I would try other things. I'm out. What I see here is uh, you are a tremendously brave young woman. You reinvented your business from what I'm counting here roughly three times. You're going into another new model. How sure are you that your new model is going to work? I don't believe that you are sure. I feel like I'm watching someone who's yeah. frightened and not quite sure which is the right way to go. Am I reading that right? Um, it's not that I'm not sure. I'm sure that this is the right way to go. Of course I'm frightened. I naturally am a very conservative person. I'm like, no, like, don't spend the money. Hang on to everything. I don't call that conservative. I call that smart. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, but I also realize that to make hopscotch what it needs to be, we do need to take this step. Hey, you should trust your gut, and I'm sure you're gonna do that. I wish I could give you the 400,000, just because I believe in you, but I don't know enough about it, so sadly I'm out. So first, I wanna ask you a question. Can a kid do this on a lower end iPhone? Yes. Okay, so honestly, I mean, I've been a hopscotch fan forever. I mean, just talking to you, like, I look up to you oh for what, you, what you've been able to accomplish and what thank you've been you. able to do for my daughters and my son. I mean, thank you. Doing these games with them is thrilling to me. That's awesome. So I'll make you an offer. You're not gonna like it. Four sharks are out. Mark is Samantha's last chance for a deal for her kid's coding app and marketplace, Hopscotch. So my foundation, the Mark Cuban Foundation, we do something called the AI Boot Camp. And we want to introduce kids to high school kids primarily in minority communities because they don't get the chance, right? I could work with you to do a coding camp for kids, how to make money with your phone, yeah. right? How to create games to make money. Yes. And go in, even I if we that. have to provide them. So I'll give you the $400,000, but I want 16%. 16%. Yeah, and I'll tell you why, because this is a lot of work, and I'm gonna be that person you call or email. Mark, I would love to have you be one of our investors. Can I negotiate with you on no. the price? Mark, you know, if you're valuing this as a startup, it's like a startup with an experienced entrepreneur with eight years of experience building programming languages for kids, um, who's proven that she can get earned media, who's proven that she knows how to run a profitable business, who's proven she knows it's how to run a team. $35,000 in revenue per month after eight years, and I'm not trying to take anything away from you at all. Obviously, I'm incredibly impressed, but the future of your company is truly in the balance right now. You know, you know, Hopscotch is my baby. I need to value my company for all the amazing assets so that fair it has. Enough. So, okay, so only because I'm a softie, uh -huh. okay, what would you do? Knowing that I don't want to come off the 16%, what would you do? So how about uh, 600,000 for 5%? I'm out. Oh. Ouch. Ouch. I'll give you one more chance. Um, uh, you're, we're not close. You've got to at least yeah, be close. Yeah, we're not close. I think that maybe it might just be that the way I value Hopscotch just isn't quite There's right no way in the world Shark you Tank. thought you were coming in here and getting 4%. And if 5% is your end, then you really did not want to do uh, it. Yeah, uh, you don't okay, need to talk wait, to me actually, about I think it, I did the math. On, I'm realistic. sorry, I was going to say 600000 for 10%. Five hundred thousand for eleven percent. You got a deal. How about 
<laughs> Rule number one, I'll 11. teach you. Don't over negotiate. 550 for 11%. Done. Done. You got a deal. Yes. Good. Oh, oh my God. You. I can't believe I got a deal. Oh my God. You know, yes. the John's Good always figure it out. Samantha. Oh my gosh. Yeah. My name's Steve Gadlin, and I live in Evanston, Illinois. I live a really normal life. I'm a dad, I'm a husband, I love my family. I work a nine to five job building websites. A lot of that's just sitting at a computer staring at code all day. So I think it's important to fill your daily life with strangeness, with exciting things. I'm an ideas guy. I think of really cool, interesting ideas. A lot of my ideas come to me in the bathroom, and I think that's, that's the voice you really need to listen to. So I have a product that on its surface seems really simple, but there is absolutely nothing like this on the market anywhere right now. The first time you see it, you're gonna roll your eyes, you're gonna think nobody needs this, nobody wants this, but you think about it for two minutes and you're gonna buy one. Gentlemen, my name is Steve Gadlin, and my company is I Want to Draw a Cat for You. I'm seeking a $10,000 investment in exchange for 25% of my company. Little music maestro. Huh. Hey there, sharks. My name is Steve. I got an offer that you won't believe. For the low, low price of just 10 grand, you get a quarter of my company, you understand? <laughs> You go to my site, you describe a cat, I draw it, I mail it, it's as easy as that. I'd invest if I were you, and I want to draw a cat for you. I'll draw you a cat that's short and fat. I'll draw you a cat with a pork pie hat. I'll draw you a cat, whatever the vibe, I draw the cat that you describe. <laughs> I want to draw a cat for you. 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 Well done. Wow. So, I <laughs> love the dancing. Thank you. Oh my but, uh, god. I saw. <laughs> That's my signature move. Now, <laughs> by now I'm sure you're asking yourself, how did this idiot make his way into the shark tank? Well, let me tell you, there is an economy for stupid, and I am overflowing with it. Now, with their universal appeal, my cat drawings are poised to be the next pet rock. I charge people $9.95 for my cat drawings. 932 of that is, is profit. I took the liberty of drawing some cats for each of you, ones I thought you might order if you came to my website. So, Robert, I know you're into fast cars. Thank you, Steve. Barbara, you just Thank closed you, the deal Steve. and you're looking fabulous. Vroom, vroom. Mr. Wonderful, you are taking your morning uh, bath in your tub of cash. Damon, here's a fancy man about the town. And Mark, congratulations on your championship. Thank you, sir. I have customers who've bought enough of these drawings to start their own cat drawing gallery. Why are people buying them? People ask for their dead pets. They want to draw about their breakup. Or sometimes they have cats fighting an octopus and a T-Rex on the moon. So they try to test you for like bizarro stuff, too. Yeah, part of it is, hey, they know this is going to go up on the website. They want to show off their crazy idea. So you post all these drawings Every single one. on the website. Yeah, and then they share them with their friends. And then their friends come and they purchase cat drawings to outdo one another. Um, and there are some people who take this very seriously. You draw these yourself? I draw these myself. I sit down at a table and I, I take this person's very personal request, uh, let it play around in my head for about a minute, and then I can knock one of these out in about two minutes. How leverageable is that? How many can you draw in a day? I can draw about 25 of these in an hour. Uh, in a week, I can knock out about 1,000 of these. But that's just with me doing this by myself. You know, As this business grows, because of the profit margin, it starts to pay for its own growth. So the really nice thing about this is I'm a web developer. When I'm not drawing cats, I'm building websites. So I don't have that overhead that any other company would what have. What are your sales today? Okay, I've sold over uh, 1,200 of these cats. In what period of time? This is about a year. Steve, what do you do with my $10,000 if I give it to you? What I'd first like to do is build on my e-commerce platform that I have and grow it even further. Uh, the other thing I want to do is start dabbling into things like greeting cards. 
I love the shtick. I love the dancing. Barbara was getting excited when you turned your behind. <laughs> so it's, it's all very exciting. But how does this go from $9,000 to 100000 Well, here's the leap of faith. Working with me on this, you're partnering with one of the most creative minds, period. I strike gold in very unpredictable ways. What you guys bring to that is the business acumen to take those ideas. We have a fun little marriage there, and I believe my ideas are billion dollar Steve, ideas. Steve, the problem is every business model is all about Steve. Nothing wrong with that, but what happens if you're walking outside and a meteorite crushes you into road pizza? Steve, you've convinced me you're a very creative guy, but am I buying into Steve, the creative guy, and taking a leap of faith and saying, let's go, baby, we'll figure out the business tomorrow? Or am I, are you trying to sell me the cat business? I'm trying to sell you the cat business and a partnership with me. Um, I, I have so many ideas which will seem, at face value, equally as stupid as this. It's so obviously PR is the big push because you're not out there spending money to drive people to your website. Yeah, there right? are no cat drawing fairs or. So you know. tell me about the publicity uh, process. So I'm a real hustler for everything I do. I tend to bring a lot of press attention to what I do on a local level. I emailed Groupon. I knew they had a cat mascot. And I said, hey, I draw cats. Do you guys want to do a Groupon for this? I got a response the next day. And then, uh, you know, on Black Friday, we launched it. And it was uh, one of their most successful. It sold out very quickly. Um, uh, and how many did you commit to do? Well, the nice thing about Groupon is uh, a thousand people said, I'm buying. But only about half of them ever actually redeemed So you got to Groupons. keep the money. Exactly. Look, very interesting, really small dollars. Not investable from my point of view. Can I tell you something, Kevin? You know no, what let I'm about him go to say. Out. Just I let him go out. Okay, I want you to go out, and then I want you to go back to your hotel tonight, put your head on your pillow. I promise you, the last thing that's going through your head before you go to sleep is I want to draw a cat for you. <laughs> I want to draw a cat for you. I beg you, please, let me do this. I'm out. OK, I, I accept. I accept it, and I'd like to counter, if I could. <laughs> So Steve, you've done a phenomenal job of free PR, but does it worry you that after all this PR, that the net result is 7,000? I'm out. These guys just don't get it. I get it. I love your creativity. Thank you. I'll give you 25 grand for 33%. Just say yes. 25 grand. 33%. Oh, man. Because if you don't, if you say no, that means you don't really want to work. No, I'm interested. No, 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 I'm no, interested. No. Hold on. I'm the one that knows technology. Don't fall I'm the for one this who gets dirty it. Trick. He's done it before. I'm not going to go in a bidding no, war with no, cat guy. Steve, you got to make a call here. No, Mark, I would love to partner with you on this. I want to ask one thing. What's that? Maybe one in a thousand cats, will you pitch in and draw it for me? Yes. You got to deal. Done! What? I love it. Thank You're hysterical. Thank you very much. I'm very like excited. this? Hit it. To the side. <laughs> Turn right, ready? <laughs> Turn around. That is ugly. No, it's not. It's good. Oh. <laughs> I love it. Thank you. Congratulations, Dave. We're going to do very great. Much. We're going to make a lot of money. <laughs> you guys, can't wait to work with you. Thank, Thank you so much, Mark. Take care. I don't care how hard you look, you cannot find talented people yeah. like that mm, who true. have the vision and have the guts. And right? the, the guts to go with the guy. make a lot of money with him. I love yeah. it. It's hilarious to me that a silly little joke I started a long time ago has come far enough to where Mark Cuban just became a business partner of mine. Holy freaking cow, that's awesome. Oh my gosh. Next up is a healthier version of a decadent treat. <laughs> Hi Sharks, my name is Frankie Amsuan. I'm seeking $180,000 for 18% of my company, Coconut Girl. <laughs> I don't know about you Sharks, but I love summertime. There's nothing better than relaxing by the beach with some creamy ice cream. But let's be honest, these sweet treats don't really help the waistline, especially during bikini season. We all want to indulge and treat ourselves without compromising our healthy lifestyles, right? Well, that's why I created Coconut Girl, the best tasting, dairy-free, gluten-free, nice cream sandwiches that are out of this world. Our gill-free sandwiches are made with all natural, good-free ingredients like organic coconut milk, honey, dates, and maple syrup. So, Sharks, 
Whether you're bumming it on the beach with our beach bum maple, <laughs> saying aloha to our aloha chocolate, aloha. <laughs> or when I hang 10 with our hang loose vanilla, Coconut Girl has any flavor you're craving to satisfy your sweet tooth, and all without any of the guilt. Bring that over here. Come so on. sharp. Right. <laughs> Who's ready to take on this sweet deal and ride this wave me, with Coconut me, Girl? Me, okay, me, you ready? me, Are you guys ready for some ice cream? Us. I'm so happy. Thank about you. This. No calories, right? <laughs> Thank you, Frankie. Thank you, Frankie, AKA Coconut Girl. Feed me. Come on, Frankie. You should have come out here first. <laughs> I have chocolate. Thank, Thank you. The best you. We have Feed one of me. each, right? Yes. So you have all three flavors, and they all have the same cookie, which is made out of almond butter. Oh my god. It's my version of chocolate chip cookie. This is amazing. Thank you. And there's a crunch to the cookie, which is pure so like, um, cocoa nibs, no added sugar. So, Frankie, this is no dairy? No dairy, made with coconut milk. So isn't the compromise heavy duty calories? With Not more products, than ice cream. My main focus is the good for you ingredients. So this is why I created it. I was sick and tired of the health food industry lying about what's healthy, the low fat, no fat, zero sugar, but it was actually making me sick and fat. But so, Frankie, you said yes. this is for the beach, and when I put on my Speedo, <laughs> I gotta look good. Yeah. <laughs> So how many calories, Frankie, in, in the package right? that Mark yes. is holding? Yes. 250. Yes. It's the so this is actually rather large for 250 calories, but with healthy ingredients. Yes. And the great thing about my products, you know, compared to the conventional ice cream, because of the, the nutritious ingredients, one sandwich will fill you up. Frankie, what are your sales? Yes. So this is year three for me being in retail. Last year, I did 120,000. The year before, I did 60,000. So this year, I'm on track to do $300,000. How are you selling it? So I'm in big box retail stores, just in Southern California at the moment. And you have a co-packer that does this? Um, I did have a co-packer that was producing the baking charts. Um, they got really busy, so now I'm back to square one and I'm full on producing everything on my own. How are you gonna scale this business if you don't have a co-packer? Well, the main goal is to obviously scale it up to there. But I've made my products really efficient. When I first started the company, we actually used to do them by pints. And I saw a bunch of my customers making them into ice cream sandwiches. I was like, that's brilliant. So I switched over and just focused on the sandwiches. How did you get into this? What I've made you? I always wanted to be an entrepreneur. Um, you know, I was born in the Philippines. I came here when I was five. I saw my mother work two jobs to give us an opportunity. Um, you know, I struggled specializing in one thing, so I dropped out of UCLA, but I was always passionate about health and fitness. I was always obsessed with creating healthy alternatives to everything that I loved, the sweets that I missed. And you know, so I was just doing it in my home kitchen and I realized there was a business to it. So I thought of the name and so I created this icicle tricycle. So every weekend I would go to fitness events. So when a grocery store approached me and asked if I did wholesale, I lied. I said, yeah, I do wholesale. So I, That's you know, always went the right answer. <laughs> and I figured out how to do barcodes, nutrition labels. I just learned on my own, figured it out. What stores are you in? Whole Foods is my biggest account. How many locations? Um, for Whole Foods, 30. But we just got the green light to be in Hawaii, Nevada, and Arizona. And I just got picked up by one of the biggest natural food distributors as of last week. What are you selling for? What does it cost you to make? So they retail for $4.99 up to $5.49. Is that expensive? No, that's normal. My biggest competitor who launched a dairy-free product actually upped their price to match mine at $5.49. Oh, really? Yes. So you didn't say how much it cost you to make? Oh, it cost me about a dollar. Just a dollar? Just a dollar, wow. yes. And it's you doing everything. I'm doing everything. I have part-time help, but that's why I'm here asking for funding because I need to get back to what I'm good at, which is the sales and marketing, and be the face of my You want to find brand. somebody to do logistics and operations for you? Yes. How do you distribute this? It's like a frozen product. So right now, we were a direct distributor up until we got picked up by Unify. So now, they pick up from my facility, and that's the reason why we're now getting the green light to be in Hawaii, because they cover that region. And so how are you Hawaii, selling Arizona. online? Can you ship these? I do not. It's possible. I have customers all over New York. Start with the dry people, ice and everything dry just gets it's really expensive. It's just very expensive. costly yeah. right now, and I don't have staff to fulfill individual orders, so we don't do direct to consumers at the moment. So, beyond hiring people, what would you use the money for? To lower my food costs. I, okay. I'm confident that I can get it down to 50 cents. So, my it's packaging, cents. 50, 50 cents. My packaging costs. You know what, Frankie? I'm here enough. I love healthy foods, right? It goes really, really well. I don't even want to hear what these people have to say. <laughs> I'll give you the $180,000, but I want 25%. Oh, that's what I was gonna offer. <laughs> but okay. you gotta tell me, I don't wanna even deal with all these meatheads. Ugh. 
I like the deal too. I'm your customer. Frankie, Frankie. I You gotta decide what? right now if you wanna if you wanna listen to other deals, I'm fine with that. But I wanna I, respect Lori. Okay, then I'm out. Oh, oh. I'll give you one last chance, right? You can take the chance to hear what oh, you say, or wow. you can go with the list is cooking. Are you willing to go down? To what? You know, I'll help you, Frankie. I'll do it for 20%. I'll squeeze Cuban's head for you. Only because he's an idiot. Okay, I'll do no. 20%. Oh, yeah. Wow. <laughs> Deal? And he's getting up. Oh, my Deal? God. It's a deal. Done. <laughs> Absolutely kill it. Go on a ride? <laughs> no, I'll let you take the ride. I want to see what else you have. <laughs> nice try, Kev. Frankie, you owe me a big Frankie. thank you. I saved you oh 5%. God. Nice try, Lori. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> he tried to kill me. There she goes. Bye, well, Frankie. Frankie Ta-da. Congrats. Now give me my $5. I got a great offer. <laughs> <laughs> they loved it, and I'm excited to make this the next household brand. I wanted Mark Cuban to be my, my shark, my partner, and it's, it's happening, so I'm really excited. Before you go, don't forget to subscribe to the Shark Tank YouTube channel and click on that notification bell to keep up with everything that's bubbling in the tank.